So you're looking for a video editor and you're stuck between DaVinci Resolve and CapCut. Which one do you choose? Well, which one? What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am Joe. If you're new here, we talk all about filmmaking, videography and the creation process in general. I've put together five key differences between CapCut and DaVinci Resolve to help you make a better decision. Straight from the bat, CapCut has a ton of music, text animations and effects right at your fingertips. So this means you don't have to create your own assets or even leave the platform for that matter. While DaVinci Resolve's library is a bit boring, it allows you to create your own assets with tools like 3D compositing, rotoscoping and advanced motion graphics. The audio tools in CapCut are simple and easy to use. Perfect if you want to do things like adjust levels or make quick few changes here and there. It also has some awesome features like checking the copyright of a song before you upload it, voice isolation and video translator. DaVinci Resolve gives you more options in the Fairlight page with things like using keyframes, dialogue replacement and a ton of other features to really fine tune that audio. While well, CapCut does have some advanced features like relight, auto background removal and a tracking feature, the color grading is fairly simple. You can throw on a filter without spending a lot of time. It's great for quick grading if you don't use log or raw footage. But if you do, DaVinci Resolve's color page is the best when it comes to advanced color grading tools. With things like the Film Look Creator, the Sky Replacer and the Magic Mask. CapCut has some interesting built-in AI features that can simplify otherwise complex things to speed up your editing even more. With things like background removal, object removal and AI movement to make it look like someone's filming you. DaVinci on the other hand has things like facial recognition to organize your footage using smart bins and other features like smart reframe and super scale if you want to upscale those all 1080p footage to 4K. This is where the difference is pretty clear. DaVinci Resolve is more demanding in terms of hardware requirements. You'll need a pretty beefy PC to run it properly, especially if you're using Fusion or if you want to do 3D compositing or stuff like that. With CapCut, you can pretty much get away with a basic setup. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of CapCut and DaVinci Resolve system requirements. So, who's this for? If you're a beginner and you've never touched editing software in your life, I think CapCut is a great place to start. It's got all the stuff for you. You can pretty much open it up and start editing right away. If you want to level up your game, DaVinci Resolve has more advanced features and tools. Perfect if you want to do some serious editing. You can also start with DaVinci Resolve. If you've downloaded DaVinci Resolve and you feel overwhelmed, you don't know where to start, I think this video will help you get started. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.